Hello and welcome. This is Chani Nevdani and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. More than 7,000 evacuees remain in flood relief centers in Johor, Malaysia. It was still dark on Saturday morning when residents of Kampung Mawai in Malaysia woke up to rising flood water in their homes. Many were evacuated by emergency service agencies in the back of lorries. Some chose to stay on but were eventually forced to leave as waters continued to rise. They were evacuated on boats. Parts of Johor have been hit by floods over the last week when about 7,900 evacuees still in relief centers across the state. As of Monday, flood waters were about 3 meters deep, the village head said. A video he took showed houses and cars submerged in flood waters. Another resident told CNA he was concerned about finding snakes in his home when the flood waters eventually subside. Among those evacuated were more than 200 residents from Kampung Mawai who were placed at a school about 3 kilometers away from their village. Each classroom housed about 6 or 7 families. For privacy, each family was assigned to a tent supplied by the Johor Social Welfare Department. Volunteers and emergency relief agencies were providing families with everything from food to clothes. While floodwaters have receded slightly, officials said there was no word yet on when residents might be able to return home. The floods caused by the northeast monsoon have displaced thousands of residents in Johor since last weekend. Kampung Mawai is part of the Kota Tinggi district where about 1,800 people were still staying in flood relief centers as of Tuesday. Several roads in the area such as Jalan, Jamalung and Jalan Lokheng remained closed to traffic because of knee-deep water along some stretches. The worst hit region in Johor is Kluang where 2,624 evacuees were placed in relief centers. The flood situation has improved slightly. About 15 relief centers across Johor have closed, with residents allowed to return to their homes. Emergency service officers were seen packing up at one of the relief centers at College Vocational Kota Tinki, which housed 700 flood victims on Monday. Volunteers said residents had been allowed to leave earlier. However, the worst may not yet be over for the southern Malaysian state. Johor Chief Minister told reporters on Monday that another wave of floods may hit the state before the end of the year. He advised residents to be careful and watch out for directives from local authorities in case of further floods. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's Tomorrow News, Chani Nebnani. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.